In the last episode, we made the Y-axis scan reach for our Prusa iFrame of 2.5. Just a reminder guys that in this video series, I am building a Prusa iFrame of 2.5 as cheaply as possible and as closely as possible to the original one. We will be using some very cheap components to make our 3D printer. For this project, we will be using the Arduino Mega and also the RIP 1.4. But we will stick to the original firmware of the Pulsar iframe of 2.5. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay has recently started offering CNC cutting services for a very affordable price. They also offer good quality PCB prototyping services. They also offer other services such as 3D printing, metal sheet cutting and also injection molding. So if you need any of these services, make sure to check PCBWay. For the X-axis carriage, we will need the longest smooth rod. And hey guys, for the 3D printed rod, I will be sharing the links where you can download the STL files and then you can 3D print it yourself. And if you don't have a 3D printer, make sure to check PCBWay, send your SCL files at PCBWay and they can 3D print it for you. I have already added the linear bearing to the X-axis carriage. Here I am using an idle pulley to make sure that our x-axis carriage slides smoothly and I'm going to secure it using a 20mm M3 screw. And now I'm going to add the linear bearing for the z-axis. You will need two linear bearing for that. While adding the second linear bearing, make sure that the bearing in the second one is in the middle of the two bearing in the previous one. Like that you will have contact with the smooth rod perfectly. and then repeat the process on the other side.
and that's it for this episode guys in our next episode we will be making the z-axis carriage and adding all the components to the frame connecting the electronics adding the firmware and we will have our booster and remote 2.5